and thanks for stopping by our channel today. This video is gonna be all about the cost of living in Haverford, 19041, Haverford, Pennsylvania, Mainline PA, Philadelphia suburb. Thanks for coming out. Welcome back everybody. I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert. I'm here to talk today about everything that it is to the cost of living in Haverford, Pennsylvania. I'm your local real estate expert and we do tons of videos on Haverford and on the main line. Please subscribe to our channel below, hit that bell notification so you can be notified of any of the other great, any of the other great videos that are coming up soon on Haverford and on the main line in general. You can call us, email us, text us anytime. Also comment down below. We do answer all our communication. Hit us up if you have a question. You want us to take our camera and go out into a certain area into one of the neighborhoods and answer a question. We're going to be glad to do it for you. Call, email, text, subscribe below. Let's get started. Haverford, Pennsylvania, main line. We've got about 7,000 people living here. 7,000 great American citizens living in Haverford. The average household income is just over $100,000. And the average real estate price point here in Haverford is about a million dollars, just over a million dollars. There is an excellent amount of, of real estate here in Haverford. You can get into a twin and a row home right in that three and four hundred thousand dollar price point. There are some great single homes in that five, six, and seven hundred thousand dollar price point. And there are some excellent housing choices in the million and two million dollar range. There's a ton of opportunity. There's a ton of neighborhoods. There's a lot of great places with garages and off street parking and driveways anywhere in those real estate ranges. We can get you into a condo here for a couple hundred thousand dollars. If you're thinking to investing in Haverford real estate, it's one of the best values in the whole entire area. It's held its value time over time and constantly increases in value, just like all the real estate here on the main line. A lot of that has to do with school districts and a lot of that has to do with the general area and the vicinity where we are close to Philadelphia. We're near New York, but today is all about Haverford. Talked about real estate price points, great values for a million dollars and a million, million and a half. Gets you a four and five bedroom house, multiple bathrooms, three and 4,000 square feet. We can even get you acre lots on a cul-de-sac, walkable to the train. That's right, I said it and I'm gonna do it. There's a lot of great opportunities for investment. There's a ton of great opportunities as well for fix and flips or even buy a house a little below value, put, put some work into it, some sweat equity. You're in the money, you're in equity as soon as we go to settlement. There's a lot of opportunities like that across the main line. And we are your local resource here to help you out. We gotta heat those houses and keep you warm here. We got utility bills to, that also come along with, with the great real estate here in Haverford. Depending on what kind of heating, heating source you use, could be electric or gas or maybe propane. You also might have to set one of those fires in the middle of your living room. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We, we've come a long way in Haverford. <laughs> You're gonna be around one to $300 a month in the dead of winter here to heat your house. Electric is on the higher side of, price, of pricing to, to get your house nice and warm. Also cool in the summer, because it does get pretty humid here in Pennsylvania, especially in the summer, especially on the main lines. We're heating up on the main line. The main line is hot. <laughs> so even in the winter time, it is very hot on the main line. You still got to heat your house. If you're using natural gas or propane, you're going to be around that hundred, maybe $150 additional per month for about three or four months in the dead of winter. It does get pretty cold here. All right. So we're talking electric bills right around that 40, 50, $60 a month. That should cover you for everything in your house. Again, those larger homes, those great, great Haverford estate homes, which are five and six and 7,000 square feet, your electric bill is gonna be a little bit higher, gonna be probably around the $100 range, and your heating bill an additional two to $300 a month, depending on how efficient one of these great houses are for you, windows and, and so forth, and how efficient is the heating, heating source, how efficient is your heater. You definitely gotta pay water, sewer, trash, uh, sometimes recycling, depending on which township you use. A lot of the, a lot of the utilities are separated, but they are township run, but they will charge you for that. You're going to be around that 20 to $30 a month for water, 20 to $30 a month for sewer, also trash and recycling around that 20, $25 a month price point. We'll get you all the great services you need and we can help you shop around for those. If, if you are moving to the area, we'll get you the best pricing uh, that, in, that we can get you in Haverford. All right, so what about internet and cable TV? Internet's gonna run you right around 60 to $100 a month. You can add to all those cable stations. There's a ton of internet, op uh, internet uh, channels as, as well available. 
If you're gonna add in every channel you could get from Xfinity or even Verizon, you could be around $200 or $250 a month for everything internet and all the cable stations. Internet's around $60 to $100, then you could add in the, all the channels that you wanted, anywhere from another $100 to $150 a month. We do have a lot of great internet uh, internet channels like our channel, so please hit that subscribe button. You're having a lot of fun, you're living at home. Anybody getting hungry? <laughs> Our, our average grocery price here is, is pretty good compared to the rest of the United States. A family of four, we could feed you pretty much uh, every month for right around $1,000 or $1,500 a month, depending on how much you eat and how often you eat. What are you eating? Of course, that price could go way up and it could, could stay a little bit lower, depending on how many people are eating and are not eating and, and what you guys are having. A lot of great organic uh, places to eat, a lot of great kosher places to eat as far as buying groceries. A lot of great restaurants and, and, and things like that. You want to go out to eat, you're going to have a little snack, a little bite to eat, a little lunch, a little light breakfast. going to be around $15 to $25 per person. You want to go out and have a cool dining experience, grab an appetizer, get a main course, and maybe a drink. You might be around that $40, maybe $60 per person. And there are an excellent amount of, of fine dining experiences here as well. Could be for, from anywhere from $100 to $200 per person. For really nice fine dining experience you can get a bottle of wine you can have some entrees some sides and and have a, have a nice main course have a dessert and have a really great experience there's a lot of places to sit and eat outside a lot of places to sit and eat inside a lot of great ethnic food especially here in Haverford just a cool place to to, to sit shop eat and live got to go to work to pay for everything right so if you're gonna be hopping on the train a couple hundred up couple hundred dollars a month gets you about a hundred rides it's two hundred and forty dollars a month gets you about a hundred rides to two hundred rides depending on when you go what time of day do you go on the weekend and how many stops you actually take to get from the train from Haverford into Center City it might take about 20 30 minutes you could drive into Center City from Haverford on a gallon of gasoline about two hundred uh, about two dollars and sixty cents you can get into Center City in about 20 minutes depending on which way you go do not go down Route 76 I advise you now you heard it here first you can certainly go down Kelly Drive or Lincoln Drive you can take that down you can see Boathouse Row it's a great way to get into the city doesn't get as backed up as 76 you can get in 476 you can take the turnpike in depending on where you're gonna go maybe you work right in Radnor in the business district Haverford gets you close to that. Hop on the train, get right, get on in Haverford Station, get off at Radnor Station. Want to have some fun after work? There's a lot of great places to go and shop and eat. There's a lot of cool places, a lot of boutique shopping. Haverford's got a cool little downtown spot, but you can hop on the train, hop on the main line, take, take a stop off in any of our great locations. You can hop off in Narberth. You can hop off in Bryn Mawr. You can go see a movie at the Anthony Wayne Theater. Just... A ton of places to go, a ton of fun opportunities. You want to take the kids with you. There's a lot of free events to go to as well, but you want to take the kids out for something to do. The average fun event to do per person is right around that $20 price point, but you can certainly take the kids uh, out for, our, for a, a lot of free lot of free things happening, a lot of township events, and a ton of great opportunities to, to go out and just kind of window shop. There are salons, and there are day spas, there are masseuses. There's just so much to do here in Haverford. Pricing isn't so bad for fun. Makes it all worthwhile. The average healthcare here in Haverford per person is just about two to $300 a month. Family of four, right around that $800 price point. Actually below average. Across the nation here for healthcare. We've got a great healthcare system. We've got mainline healthcare system. We've got a ton of great hospitals. We've got Bryn Mawr Hospital. We've got Lankanol. We've got a, a, a lot of great opportunities and a lot of great hospitals. Gotta pay taxes here on the main line and in Pennsylvania, it comes in around 6% sales tax. A Little bit of the New York, definitely better than Center City, Philadelphia. Philadelphia actually has 8%. So we'll stay outside in the suburbs. There's plenty to do here, there's a lot to do. You won't have to pay the sales tax that you do in the city. City actually has a city wage tax as well. So it's better to live out in the main line and work in the city but it, it all depends on where you work and how you want to work, how you want to get there. New York has about a 9% sales tax. We'll keep you right around here. You could be from Haverford, go to tax-free shopping in Delaware. You could be there in about 30 minutes on a car ride, no taxes. 
I hope you enjoyed the video today on everything about the cost of living here in Haverford. We make a ton of great videos like this and we want to keep making them for you. Please comment that down below if you learned something today or what did you learn? Do you know now that you didn't know earlier before watching the video? Or perhaps what would you like to know after watching the video that maybe we left out? If there's a certain thing you want to talk about, a certain, tom uh, a certain topic you want us to cover, comment that down below. If you want us to check out a certain area, please check out our video on Haverford. We, we went and checked out some Haverford real estate. We saw the places in town, a lot of great spots to check out. If there was somewhere you wanted us to see or a certain house you wanted us to tour, we'll grab the camera, we'll take it in, and we'll, we'll get you all set up. We are your local real estate experts here on the main line. We're happy to help in any way that we can. I'm Gregory Martier, and I want to help. Whenever you're ready for it, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, comment down below, and we, are, we want to be here to help you when you're ready to go.